warriors and hunters, wizards and priests. Long now have your four classes lived together as one, and how they have flourished. Where once stood only a few muddy huts, now looms a glorious city of iron and steel, trade and commerce, music and laughter, a place called Ardent. I've been watching you these many years, have seen the sparks from your anvils fly, have observed your gardens blossom and your livestock swell. I've heard the spinning of your ever-busy looms and have listened to the crash of mighty timber felled. Your bountiful villages have multiplied, as have the feats of your brave heroes, men and women, who have valiantly explored terrifying and wondrous new lands together. You have battled ghoulish fiends and defeated nightmarish beasts, several of which were the very last of Malak's brood of horrors. I'm afraid, though, that not quite all of Malak's clan has been extinguished. I know of one member who has patiently bided his time, deep within a fortress of stone. Shh! Can you not hear it? Of course you can't. Vanity and self-indulgence have surely dulled your senses. So put down your pies and ales and listen. Now that is the sound of true unity. The gates of Castle Pyron have been flung wide, and a thousand soldiers cut from unbreakable stone march forth. They have been given but one directive, to crush Ardent. Just as your four elders slew my master when he was at the height of his power, so too will I destroy your glorious city and all those who helped to build it. How ignorant. You all are, to think that I would have let the death of Malak go unpunished, or that I have merely sat idly by these many years. You need only venture inside my impenetrable mountain to find that I rule an entire kingdom. Old beasts you thought long dead have found a home with me, while new creatures are daily forged from the heart of the mountain. I have been amassing an army for decades. And now, at last, my avalanche of stone has been released. All will be crushed, and I will have my vengeance. I am Lord Pyrus.